listen to yesterday as Hollow speaks, is he sounding angrier or what? Heard they're flying James L. Ray back this week. Still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did in Dr. King. It's too easy. Too bad. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. Coming through. Oh! Hey now. Looking good, chocolate pudding. Maybe you can give me a taste later on. <laughs> you go to hell. Just take a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. For true. The thing that surprises me the most is how much these crackers love black pussy. These crackers love enslaving African women. Biscuit dead street from the start. You do understand what we're doing here, right, Fred? <laughs> Shit going down. Last chance has come and gone. Hey, I, what do we have? Uh, Holy uh, Jesus, run! Uh, I don't want to die here. We all want Dixie out oh, of the hall. Give me your balls and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. Secretary, you ought to sit your fanny down and type up another goddamn copy yourself. Not that one of them machines run one off for you, I suppose. Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Lieutenant Baca was holding you prisoner. And I held you, I did. 
It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sam and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have to holler, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. Long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. That's... That's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find it? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. Show me what you got, Jackie. What the hell? Why are you driving around in a truck? What happened to your store? Government shut me down. They don't want niggas buying guns. <laughs> Where are we gonna start shooting the hell out of white folks or some such? Motherfuckers. Tell me about it. Let me know if you see something you want.
Thank you. You were sight for so eyes. Laveau. Been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses. And you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to him? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh... I'm sorry to hear about Sammy and Ellis. They always did right by me. Sorry about that. Get out of here!
Oh, my God. They... They were going to... Once you're out of here, go see Cassandra at the pierced heart. She'll help you. What's that going for? Spread the word. Any woman needing help should go to the pier. You killed him. You should kill all of them. Every last one. Get out of here. Now. Same my job. Gotcha. You're a dead asshole.
I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, jury's still out on that one. That Cassandra really buffaloed you, didn't she? Fucking lunatics. Every last one of them. Oh, watch yourself around my files. There's a system. You were sight for so I freed those women. God damn if that place in the hell hole. Pains you to see what those redneck fucks are doing, doesn't it? Soon as I get my hands on Jackson, that all comes to an end. Merle's got pimps scattered around the hollow. He's leaning on them to make up for what he's lost. Kill them, and he'll show up at the club. All right. When you're dealt with them, come back. I'll be able to confirm that Merle's over at the club. Church with me. God! Oh my God! Huh? See the rod? My brother's daughter <gasps> Selena. She just. What? We have to go! We have to get out of here! Somebody call the cops!
Hey. Merle's holed up over at Perlis. What I hear, he's pissed as all hell. <laughs> Wish I could see that asshole's face right about now. Just so we're on the same page. Once I'm in there, I'm killing any motherfucker who gets in my way. Ain't no one shedding tears for those pricks. You do what you think's best. I'll be seeing you, Laveau. Watch it. Okay, okay, just stay out of my way. Still can't believe one of those jigaboo motherfuckers wants to come after us. Chicken chip bullshit. What do we have that fucker? I can't leave my little. Take it a shot. He not only got the girls, he killed them. What you gonna do, nigger? This. Dixie motherfuckers are out of pearlers. Have your men come lock it down. motherfuckers out of the church, and Richie will have to respond.
In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. There are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. Long, dark road to hell. I've been underwater ever since that hurricane hit. Ain't getting my hopes up of that changing anytime soon. Uncle Billy told me he helped you clean. from that ages ago. Honey, 